So you may not have heard of Somerville before, maybe some of you from my conversations, but partly because its, its neighbors are pretty famous, Boston and Cambridge, Massachusetts. But Somerville is a pretty creative place in its own right. According to the city website, there are more artists per capita in Somerville, Massachusetts than there are in any other city in the United States, except for New York City. It's a lot of creativity in a small place. So we wanted to include this in our event. And so we had an art curator and a music curator, just like us as organizers going out and curating speakers. This is an example of an art installation we had uh, from New American Public Art, taking inspiration from the event logo. But I want to talk about music. So we had a house band. How many of you have had house bands? A couple of you. Awesome. So when we, when we confirmed our house band, the Michael J. Epstein Memorial Library, about two months before, and we thought, wouldn't it be cool if we could have a TEDx Somerville theme song? And so we talked, and Mike's uh, and his band are a pretty, pretty prolific crew. And he actually came back and said, well, since I'm playing for four sessions, about 10 minutes before each session, what if, I created, what if we created four individual theme songs, one for each session? Well, it kind of blew us away when a few days before the event, John, our music curator, told us that he actually created 25 different songs, one for each speaker. Do you want to hear a couple? Monica Poole gave a talk about her experience with Occupy Boston. She's helping build a new solution. Occupy Boston, be the evolution. The beginning is near, but you can't evict an idea you can. Champ Champion lock picker Skylar Town talked about the beauty of locks. Skylar Town finds beauty in mechanical things, in tumblers and levers and magnetic springs. And so we sent, we sent Mike and his crew bios and, and talk summaries, but we didn't have all of them. So sometimes they just had a name and a talk title. So for Clarence Smith Jr., they Googled his name and found his website, doyouknowclarence.com. Do you know Clarence? Do you know Clarence? Do you know Clarence? Do, 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 do. do you know Clarence? And so that, <laughs> I had that song in my head for days. They had a lot of fun writing these. Um, you know, like, the, who, needs to, who needs love songs, right? When you can write about things like livestock and, and innovative light rails. And they thought it was kind of fun that, that when you see these local celebrities that we've been making local people into celebrities, that your minds would be blown, right? But also that maybe you might start singing their song in their head. But they didn't stop there. They actually pulled in some of the speakers into the recording studio because the demand was so high, the response, they thought these songs were just ad hoc. So they brought them into the studio and started recording some of the songs. Remember Skylar's? Skylar's, right? Well, they brought Skylar in to do a little interlude into his song. Lighten up the pressure, it'll be just fine. Pettis, Yale, and Hobbs before me. I'm bound by history, I'm away to glory. This lock is nasty, I'm on rope and dope. And large head set, push, push, open. TEDx 2012, y'all. Somerville in the house. Thank you very much.